This team is the biggest fraud on this list. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Mayhem Matthew. Today, we're going to be doing 10 programs that have a realistic chance at reaching the college football playoffs this season. Um, I got this uh, article from Roll Tide Wire. Um, they listed their 10 programs. I'm going to be reacting to it today for you and um, giving you my thoughts. Now, you know, I'm going to tell you why I believe I don't agree with some of these teams on this list and i'll tell you why i agree with some of them on this list so without further ado let's get straight on into the video if you like this video smash the thumbs up and if you really like this video hit the subscribe button we're almost to 400 subs so without further ado at number 10 you have the usc trojans i'm going to be honest with you that defense is suspect okay this is just my opinion uh, i think the uh Defense is a little suspect. I think that offense is going to be elite once again. Caleb Williams comes back. Uh, you also have some wide receivers in Mario Williams and Brendan Rice coming back. Um, you know, on the defense, you have Bear Alexander from Georgia transferring, and uh, he's he should be um, a good help for that defense, but I still think it's going to be a little bit of suspect to me, and I think there's another team in the Pac-12 um that's going to win the Pac-12 and honestly two lost team is not making a four team playoff so I think USC Trojans will end up with two losses at the end of the season whether that be one loss in the regular season and then the uh in the Pac-12 championship or just go 10 and 2 in the regular season coming in at number nine we have the Texas Longhorns now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sold on the Texas Longhorns because the Big 12 is wide open. Um, you know, I still like Kansas State. I still uh, think TCU is going to be really good. Uh, they might not be national championship good, but they're still going to be in that 9, 10, 11 wins um, this year. I know they lost a lot. I understand. I get it. They got blown out by Georgia, but I still think Sonny Dykes is a really good head coach. I think uh, TCU is going to be good. Um, you know, I think um, Baylor is going to jump back into it. You know, I think Oklahoma State has to do a little bit better than they did last year. Um, you know, I like their head coach down there, Mike Gundy. So, um, Texas and, – and another thing is Oklahoma is going to be way better than they were last year. That was a disappointing season for the Oklahoma Sooners. So, I think Texas is getting all the hype because a lot of teams are down. And uh, Texas has, uh, you know, a great offensive line, great defensive line. They have Xavier Worthy, and they got, um, you know, tight end Jatavian Sanders. And they also got A.D. Mitchell from Georgia via the transfer portal. So, um, And they, they also have a great uh, defense so that they gathered this year. So um, I understand the hype. For this Texas Longhorns, but this Texas Longhorns team has been hyped up before, and uh, we didn't get no results. And like I said, I think a two-loss team in the regular season um, is not going to get into the playoffs. And guess what? I think Texas Longhorns definitely going to lose to the Alabama Crimson Tide, and then um, they're going to lose another game. It's just bound to happen. It's the Texas Longhorns. I'm not sold on their head coach. Uh, and I'm never going to be sold on them. So, uh, with that being said, you know Steve Sarkeesian. Um, I don't. I don't really believe in him. Um, Texas Longhorns is not uh, a realistic thing for the playoffs this year. Coming in at number eight, we got the Penn State Nittany Lions. Um, yes, I do think this is a realistic thing. Uh, last year they went ten and two. The only two losses was to Ohio State and Michigan. Um, if they beat one of them teams, um, which I think is going to happen, um, and I think Penn State will make the Big Ten championship, and I think Penn State wins the Big Ten championship, and they go 12-1 uh, and one and make it to the playoffs. So, yes, I do think that is very realistic. So I think they got it uh, down pat there. 
Um, with that being said, let's go up to number seven, Ohio State Buckeyes. I'm not sold on Ohio State. Um, I think they lose two games um, in the regular season. So with that being said, a two-loss team is not making the playoffs. So I know I do not think that Ohio State has a realistic chance of making the playoffs this year. Um, you know, if they didn't have help last year, they would they would not have made it uh, last year because they didn't even um, make it to their own uh, title game last year. So, and they didn't even win their own division. So, uh, they needed some help last year. They lose Paris Johnson Jr., C.J. Stroud, Jackson Smith, and the Jigba. They lose a lot of talent, but I know they still bring back Marvin Harrison Jr. I get it. Um, they have a lot of questions on the um, quarterback uh, battle there um, in Ohio. So I'm not really sold on Ohio State, so I'm going to say no on the realistic chance uh, for uh, them to make the playoffs this year. All right, coming in at number six, we got the Michigan Wolverines. Um, they bring back J.J. McCarthy. Uh, the two leading rushers from last year, Donovan Edwards and Blake Corum. Um, you know, they, they're they going to have a really talented uh, offense and they're going to have a really talented defense. Um, so, you know, the defense did lose several starters this offseason with Mozzie Smith, Mike Morris, and DJ Turner heading into the NFL. But um, they, they bring back, you know, linebacker Junior Colson, Michael Barrett, and Rod Moore. So, um they're going to be extremely talented, and uh, this hardball-led uh, team, yes, I do say that this is a very realistic possibility for the Michigan Wolverines to uh, make the college football playoff. Even though I have them not winning the championship, they can do something similar to what Ohio State did last year. I think Penn State beats Michigan this year, and um, I think Michigan goes 11-1, with the loss to Penn State, I think Penn State goes 11-1 and one as well, and uh, their only loss would be Ohio State. But Ohio State is going to lose to Michigan and some other team, and I'm thinking it's Wisconsin. So um, with that being said, Michigan can still slide in, even though they're not going to make uh, their Big Ten championship, according to Mayhem, right? But anything can happen in college football. Michigan has made the playoffs the past two years. They made the Big Ten championship and won it the past two years. So never count out this Michigan Wolverines team. I'm just very high on Penn State. Coming in at number five, we got LSU. I'm going to say yes, okay, yes to LSU. Um, LSU, uh, you know, they surprised everybody and won the West last year. I don't think anybody was really thinking that Brian Kelly in his first year was going to win the West. Um, I know the West was kind of down last year um, with Alabama being down and stuff like that. And maybe you can say that Alabama is still going to be quote unquote down, right? So yes, I do think LSU is going to be better than they were last year. They bring back their quarterback. They bring back actually virtually everybody. Um, you know, they bring back a, a, a good, 65, 70% of their team from last year. So they have a lot of talent uh, coming back. Um, you know, Jaden Daniels, uh, Malik Neighbors, and then on the defense, they bring back Harold Perkins, just to name a few, right? Um, you know, Harold Perkins is probably the best linebacker coming into 2023. Jaden Daniels, he's going to be a, um, a preseason Heisman favorite. Malik Neighbors, very good wide receiver, right? Uh, they re, uh, return eight starters on the offense and four starters on the defense. So um, LSU is going to be extremely talented. They're, they're always extremely talented. If Alabama doesn't win, you know LSU is going to win the um, the West. So, And I think Georgia and LSU is going to compete. And, yes, I do think LSU has a realistic shot at the college football playoffs. Coming in at number four, we got the Georgia Bulldogs. Obviously, you know, I think Georgia is pretty much, I'm not going to say a lock, okay, because, you know, I do have Georgia losing a game in the regular season because it's just virtually impossible to go undefeated for three straight seasons, you know, in the regular season, right? Um, you know, we went undefeated two straight seasons in, in the regular season, and this year we look to go undefeated again in the regular season to secure a playoff spot 
but it's going to be extremely hard. Um, I'm a Georgia fan. I hope we go undefeated. I hope we three peat. Go dogs, you know, hashtag go dogs in the comment section. Uh, three for 2023. I get it, right? You know, but um, we turn, we return like 70% of our um, offense and defense. And um, I've already done videos on Georgia. So if you want to uh, check them out, you can. They're on my channel. I've talked about the offensive line, defensive line, the wide receivers. I've talked about the quarterbacks. I've talked about anything and everything under the sun about Georgia. Um, you know how I feel about my Georgia Bulldogs. I think we're going back to the playoffs, and I think we have an extremely great chance at three-peating. Coming in at number three, the Florida State Seminoles. Um, yes, the this is the biggest fraud. This team is the biggest fraud on this list. Uh, Florida State is not um, likely or realistically. Florida State has no realistic chance at making the playoffs in 2023. I don't care what you say. Oh, they bring back a lot on offense and defense. I, I don't really care, okay? Um, I, I don't I don't I don't believe the hype in Florida State. I think Florida State um, is going to lose to LSU to kick off the the year. And I think um I think you know they're gonna get rattled by that first game. They're gonna lose games that they shouldn't lose. And um I don't think I, I think that whole Florida State hype this year is the same hype that NC State got last year. And it's the same hype that Miami got last year. It's the same. It's the same ACC hype that we get every single year. And until somebody can knock off Clemson, do not talk to me about uh, another ACC team possibly getting to the playoffs. Coming in at number two, the Clemson Tigers. I do think the Clemson Tigers are going to be extremely better than last year. And uh, they won 11 games. I think they're going to be undefeated going into the playoffs. So, of course, they have a realistic chance at making the playoffs in 2023. I think, um, you know, Kate Klubnik is the real deal. Um, I think he's better than DJ, and DJ and a little bit of Cade helped uh, win 11 games last year. And they were only um, one point or two points technically uh, from winning uh, that game uh, in South Carolina or at Clemson but versus South Carolina. And um, if they win that game, then they're in the playoffs, right, uh, virtually. So – and I understand you could say that about a lot of other teams, so don't go put that in the comment section. Well, you can say that about a bunch of teams last year. Um, you know, if this happened and that happened and, you know, USC and all these other teams, I get it, right? I get it. But Clemson, um, you know, they – they in the media, they're like, oh, well, Clemson's having a down year, right? 11 wins is a down year for Clemson. I mean, just imagine what they're going to do with uh, top – Offensive coordinator uh, Garrett Riley, um, you know, that was probably the best offensive coordinator hired this year. And uh, with quarterback Cade Klubnick in his uh, first full season, getting uh, first team reps uh, in the offseason and everything. So I'm uh, very excited about this Clemson team. So, yes, I'm going to say yes to the Clemson Tigers. And, of course, Roll Tide Wire has to put Alabama – Crimson Tide in this list, and they come in at number one, obviously, right? It's uh, it's Roll Tide Wire article, so why would they not put Alabama at number one? Um, I'm going to go ahead and say no. I think LSU and I think Georgia are the top dogs in the SEC, and being number three in the SEC is just highly unlikely to make the college football playoffs. Um, you know, I've seen two – two SEC teams get into the playoffs, but it's highly unlikely that you see three out of the four make the playoffs. So with that being said, Alabama, um, you're the third best, uh, maybe even the fourth best in the SEC, um, depending on how Texas A&M meets and does this year. And it depends on how Tennessee does too. But um, I think you're probably the third best in the SEC, uh, maybe fourth, but yeah, Alabama, you're not making the college football playoffs. I don't think there's a realistic chance that you get into the playoffs. So with that being said, just to wrap everything up, you know, I don't think that Florida State it has a realistic chance. Uh, I don't think that um, – I do not think Ohio State has a realistic chance. I do not think Texas has a realistic chance, and I do not think 
USC Trojans has a chance. So six out of the ten I do agree with, but there's four on this list that have zero chance at making making the college football playoff. So if you like this content, smash the thumbs up. And if you really like this content, hit the subscribe button. Let me know down in the comment section what you think. And have a great day.